Welcome to Identify and Report Professional for the iPad. I would like you to notice, first of all, in the upper left hand corner of the screen, we are not connected to 3G and we are not connected to Wi Fi. To confirm this, I'm going to just go back to the settings. And you can see here, Wi Fi, we're not connected at all, it's turned off, and also the cellular data is not connected at all nothing. We are standalone. Go back to the program. Now this is the main menu. You can edit your company defaults. You can go to the agent organizer, go to the, directly to the photos, find an inspection report, send an inspection report uh, via you send it if you'd like, go directly to invoicing, or start a new inspection. We also have a scheduling system up here, but the iPad has its own that's much better than ours. Soon we hope to link with it. Go directly to the order form, print an inspection, print it to a PDF, or go directly to the inspection. What I'd like to do here is I'd like to show you first of all that our system runs on default reports. What that means is that we have a default report set up I'll select it. Everything that's in this default report is what is what gets duplicated when you start a new inspection. So if I were to go new inspection from here, everything that I put in this default report, and it's the entire report, would be duplicated. So I could go in here, I could put my identifiers in, open it up so you can see it a little better. So anything that you put in your default is exactly what comes up when you start a new inspection. So I'll get out of here, get back to my main menu. I go all the way back. Now I'm just going to pull up an inspection that we've done previously so you can get an idea. And we're going to pull up, I believe this one here is a good one. And now we're going to go directly, as you can see, the order form is filled out already. All these fields have drop down windows. We can also go directly over to the agent organizer and look up the agents. Oh, let's see, let's put in Linda Anderson. And all the data comes in right in from the agent organizer. You can go directly to the agent organizer if you'd like. Input agents, send letters, create letters, many things you can do from here. I think you can even dial the phone. <laughs> and we go right back to the order form. Now, from here, we're going to go directly to the inspection. We'll go over and we'll fill out. Enlarge it a little. I've already filled this one out, as you can see. So we can here, we can edit this. This is the comments that we have put in. We can select a comment. If that applies to, and we want to select it, we can put it right in. You notice that little number two? That's in the legend. And that number two means, it's over here under recommendations, recommend evaluation by a qualified licensed contractor or a special tradesperson. We can even put that right in the report if you want. Then when we're all finished editing our report, we'll go back and we'll copy everything to the summary. We'll go directly to the summary and look at it. Here's the summary. If you'd like to preview the summary, you click the little tool icon up here. You go over to print and we're going to send it to a PDF, but we're just going to view it. Takes a couple seconds to generate. This is the actual summary of the report. And you notice we are not connected to any internet access or anything like that. This is a true standalone alone database program. And you can see all the summary. Now you notice on the bottom of each section here, here's the legend. So it tells what everything in the brackets mean. When you're finished, we can return. 
and now we're right back to the program. To do a, a photo, all we have to do is click Photos. These are the photo thumbnails. We can select exactly where we want the photo to go. Let's say we're in exterior, and uh, actually it's set for foundation already. So let's just say, because you see over here, it says foundation, photo number one in foundation. So we're going to say take photo. This is going to be tricky. I'm just going to take a photo. It's low light, by the way. And I'm going to use it. Put it right back. Here's the photo that we just took, right here. View it if we'd like. Enlarge it. Enlarge it some more. Okay. If we want to, we can put a comment right in underneath the photo. We can select from our comment library. And that will go right in. Or we can tap twice and put it right in. Come on. There it is. We want this one over here. Come on, over here. There we go. And we can put it right in. Now I have a typewriter and you can see it's wireless. Otherwise you would see the typewriter come up on the bottom of the screen and you can type it right in. But mine is wireless. See, Makes it a little easier just when I'm demonstrating. Then we can go right back to the let's go to the foundation section. And we'll go over and we'll select the photos from foundation and only the foundation photos appear. So you can put the photo right into the foundation section as you take it. There is no importing, there is no exporting. You don't have to do anything but just click take the photo. Same thing with the signature. You can sign the contract. Uh, it's sort of like a photo where you just click it and you sign it right on the screen. Pretty nice. Let's come back. Now from here, all we would have to do is click print to the printer, print to a PDF, and the system would go out and print. That is the basics on how you use our uh, Identify and Report Professional on the iPad. This is a new program. It is an actual program and not just an app. And as I say over here, we are not connected to any internet, anything. So you can take this out in the field with no access at all, and you can do your full report, and you can send it as well. Thank you very much. Good day. Oh, by the way, if you'd like more information, go to inspectionsoftware.com.